Hi y'all, it's Constance. I am back with another video for you guys. If you haven't been to my channel before, I am a part-time reseller and a full-time teacher. I have about nine more weeks of school left and I will be leaving my position and transitioning to being a full-time reseller. So if anybody out there is in the same boat as me or you're looking for a friend that um, is kind of going through this whole leave teaching, um, movement or whatever. Um, yeah, I am on Instagram at teach and thrift and feel free to reach out to me over there and we can connect. If you have any questions or anything about reselling, I'll be happy to answer your questions. I have been actually reselling part-time since about 2002. I do not do it like consistently. I don't like always have things listed. I will just kind of get in a like spurt where I want to make some extra money or maybe my kid wants to play soccer for like $7,000 a year or whatever it is. And I will just kind of go from there and I'll, you know, I'll start the reselling again. And, um, yeah, it's just super fun for me. I enjoy going, the, finding the inventory. I enjoy selling it. I enjoy all of it. So it is kind of a dream for me to be able to do it full time. And yeah, so that's where we're at. So nine more weeks of school. I appreciate all of you guys that come back and watch my videos and give me a thumbs up and just let me know if I, you know, I'm helping you at all. Like I, that's my goal is I am hoping to maybe like just help somebody out there or, you know, share my, share my experience and maybe it'll help somebody else, you know, along the way. So, um, today I have an update for you guys. I bought two thread up rescue boxes back in the end of 2021. Both of these were from December. I have sold a lot of what was in those boxes and I just want to share my numbers with you. Um, the first box was a shoe box and I'm going to try and pop up like over here the what sold like the sold and like you can see what it was. Um, I'll also try to make sure I link the videos somewhere like the videos down below or whatever if you want to go back and watch them. Um, I got a 15 pair shoe box on December 8th and this was definitely the worst box I've gotten. It was horrible, it was horrible. And I think I've ordered about five shoe boxes in total and it was definitely the worst one. Um, that being said, I still profited on that box. So, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go through, I actually listed only eight items from that box. I donated five of them. Now, could I have maybe listed a couple more. The, the condition just wasn't there. I got a pair of Keds that were in decent condition, but I don't know if they were sold for anything. Um, the rest of them, maybe the condition was okay enough to relist. I, at the time, I just didn't feel like the condition was there for me to want to, to list them. Um, but I did, I donated five, I listed eight, and then I did get a refund on two pairs of those shoes. One pair was a pair of like bear traps and they disintegrated. As soon as I like touched them and like bent them a tiny bit, they just like went into pieces. So there was no way that those could be like saved. So I did trash those. And there was also a pair of like white heels and the heels actually didn't match. They were from, they were like the left shoe from like two separate sets of white heels. So nothing I could do with those. Um, and thread up did give me a refund for both pairs of those shoes. So I think the refund was around what well, oh, I wrote it down. It was $10 and 66 cents. Um, they sent me back. So the total price I paid for this box after that refund was $74 and 54 cents for 15, well, 13 pairs of shoes. So this is what I listed and sold. And again, none of them were good. None of them. Uh, I did get a pair of Adidas Superstars, and I sold those on Facebook Marketplace for $30. Um, I got these Relance, or Re was it Relance or Reliance? I can't remember. Um, boots, and at first when I pulled them out, they I thought they for sure were leather, and then I didn't recognize the brand name. I did a little bit of research. That was a It was a brand from Spain, I believe, and some products in that... Um, from that company had been sold at Anthropology, So there were very, very, very few sold, sold or even anywhere. I couldn't find anything on that brand hardly anywhere. So I did end up listing them on Facebook Marketplace. I thought I was gonna have to donate them. 
but I listed them on Facebook Marketplace and sold them for $25. So I was very happy about that. Um, I sold a pair of Anne Klein pink little loafers that I probably should have donated, but hey, you know, I listed them. They sold for $7.50, which is, I mean, it's $7.50, but at the same time, I'm like, it probably took me, you know, 10 minutes to like photograph them and then list them and then ship them. So, I mean, was it worth the, the minutes I spent getting those ready and then the storing, storing them for however long? Mm, I don't know. I, and the same thing goes with a pair of Michael Kors loafers that were not in the greatest condition. I had sold those. I think I ended up taking an offer for $6. And at that point I had listed them for like maybe 20 or 25 and like had no interest. And I think I marked them down and then I got like a $6 offer. And at that point I probably could have sold them for a little bit more, but I was just trying to make sure that like I got my five or $6 back per, sh per shoe, per pair of shoes. Um, to make up for the cost of the box because I knew that box was so terrible and those shoes again were not in the best condition So it could have been like months before anybody was interested in them again So just get them out and bring in something new. It's kind of what I'm what I'm thinking um, The one pair of shoes that I thought were really good in this in this box was a pair of rag and bone little booties They were they had significant wear on them They also were like the strap that went around the ankle part. It was missing like a little piece. It didn't really affect how they looked like or how that you could wear like it, you know, you wouldn't have noticed it. I didn't really notice it until I was taking pictures. Um, but there was something missing. So I did sell those for only $20. I sold a pair of coach heels that were cute, but they just had some issues, um, for $20. I sold a pair of Minnetonka boots or boot, were they like little booties? I can't remember. Um, but I sold those for $16 and then I sold a pair of Feel or file, F I E L, um, loafers, which were actually really cute. Um, I sold those for $15. Those I'm pretty sure were from Anthropology. So, but I, again, it was a brand that like I found nothing out of, like there was no hardly any solds or anything. So, um, so yeah, so everything else got donated. Um, so adding all that up that I sold. And I've said this before, but just in case you obviously didn't watch all my videos, which probably most people don't, but thank you if you do. Um, I kind of, I know there's eBay fees and like face like Poshmark fees, which I don't, maybe a couple of these are on Poshmark. Um, I know there are fees and I did not factor that into here. That being said, on eBay, which is where I make most of my sales because I don't really cross list. I just list most things on eBay first. I, on eBay, I get a discount on shipping and it's usually several dollars. So I don't know why I get a discount. It's just kind of like, I think it's just like the store that I have or something. Um, but in my in my head, that offsets like my eBay fees. So if somebody, if somebody buys a shipping label or they, you know, cause I charge actual shipping. So like if I sell a pair of shoes and it, they weigh two pounds and I have to be shipped priority mail, um, say it's like 13, $14. And then my cost to ship it might, might only be like $11. And so in my head that like that, that few dollars will offset the like eBay fees. Now, if it's a higher price item, I'm sure that's not going to pay for, you know, not going to be the total like eBay, the, the fees that eBay charges me, but like for a lot of these smaller sales, you know, it definitely will cover like the eBay fees. So that's just like how it works in my head. Now, once I become a full-time reseller and I start like spreadsheets and I start kind of seeing all these different numbers, like, and I have time to like figure all these things out, I'll probably have a different perspective, but for now that's, that's kind of what I go with. So this does not include any, any eBay fees. Um, so the, the total that I sold was $149, and fifty cents, And then the total cost of the box was $74 and 54 cents. So even with this being a terrible, terrible box, I still made $74 and 96 cents. Um, putting in, putting in the eBay fees, is it going to be 70? No, no, it's probably not. But you know, the couple, the couple, the two higher, the two highest price items in here I sold on Facebook Marketplace. So, you know, that's good. 
Um, yeah, so that was that was the first box. Um, the second box that and actually that box I started listing that stuff around December eighth, so it's it's definitely been listed for like over three months. So the second one that I want to share with you is a men's twenty five pound rescue box. In this box, I got it around December seventeenth. And sorry, I have everything written down here. Um, so 25 pounds, December 17th, that total I spent on that box was $117.15 with like ships, ship, or I don't, I don't think there was shipping, but with tax to my door, $117.15. Um, I listed one, two, three, 16, I listed 16 items. I do have at least one more that I did not list and I just, it was a pair of Nike shorts and I just didn't really know what they were new with tags, but I didn't, they were like kind of like under shorts, like spandex. I didn't know what they were, so I just haven't listed them yet. Um, they got actually, they're back here now, but they haven't, they got shoved aside and I just didn't get them listed. But okay, so um, I'm just going to go through here real quick and show you what I have. I still have this pa Pagano jacket. It, at first I hated it. I was like, what is this? And then I saw that it was like a sold comp for like over a hundred dollars. So I had it listed. I think I started it at like 125 and I've marked it down and I have several watchers, like at least four or so watchers and just nobody's, nobody's gotten it yet, but I'm hopeful that I'm going to be able to sell that for like a decent price. So, but it has not sold. Um, so I'll go through some stuff that has sold. Um, first thing I got a pair of Babaton pants and they actually turned out to be women's pants, but I sold those for 39. Um, I got a polo half zip pullover sweater and it was not in the best condition and it was a smaller size, but so I only sold that for $9. I think somebody offered me nine and I just took it. Um, I got a RVCA flannel shirt that was new with tags and I sold that really quick for $24. Um, I got a pair of Dickies shorts that I sold for like $7.50. They were pretty, like the tag was pretty faded and stuff. So um, I got a J. Crew shirt that I sold for $13. I think it was a gingham print shirt. Uh, I got a pair of, I got three items from the Nike University of Memphis, I think. Like Nike University of Memphis, like some sort of um, team gear, I guess. Um, so the Nike Memphis shorts sold for $18 and 20 cents. The shirt, there was like a short sleeve, like hoodie kind of thing. And it sold for $25 and then a jacket that sold for $28. And those actually sold pretty like really quick. I probably could have held out for more. I just didn't know if like how easy those were going to sell because they were University of Memphis and you know, I didn't even know anything about University of Memphis. So um, so anyway, so those did really well. Um, I had a pair of Fabletics shorts that sold for $15. A pair of Nike pants that were new with tags. Oh yeah, those were like rain pants or like some sort of like rain gear or something like that. Um, they were new with tags and I sold those for $45. I got a Western, a Plains Western like vintage shirt with like snap buttons. I sold that for $9. And I got a pair of Fashion Nova pants that were new with tags. I sold those for $15. I still have the Nike shorts listed. I have a Billabong pair of shorts listed. I have a pair of and one like tearaway pants listed and a Lucky Brand shirt. And I think that Lucky Brand shirt was new with tags if I remember correctly. I don't, I don't know. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, at least five things that just that I can think of that still need to sell. So that's, you know, that's fine with me. It's, I sold most things from that box. And then there were quite a few that I donated just for different, different flaws or whatever. Um, I, I would have to go back and watch the video again. I don't remember you guys, but, um, yeah. So these were my first, like, this was my third and fourth boxes that I got from thread up. So I'm kind of learning to just list everything no matter like what it is. If I think it's terrible, just list it because somebody out there might want it. The stuff that I've been selling that I normally wouldn't pick up at the thrift store and I'm getting from thread up and I'm listing it and I'm thinking, Oh, nobody's going to buy that. And then it sells. So 
I just need to be listing everything. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Um, so let's get in, let's look at the numbers. I so I paid one hundred and seventeen dollars and fifteen cents total right now. I have made two hundred and forty seven dollars and seventy cents, and that would put me my profit one hundred and thirty dollars and fifty five cents with those other things to still sell. So, and I'm very hopeful that that um, Pagano jacket, that vintage like jacket um, will sell for like over $50. So I would like to say that my profits would be like closer to the $200 mark for that box. You know, we'll just have to give it another two or three months and see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my numbers. I, don't think that these were like the best boxes, but I do think that, you know, for the little bit of time that it takes for me to go through and list, you know, photograph, list, and, you know, put in inventory, um, you know, less, less than 20 items. It, you know, I could take, I could photograph less than 20 items in probably a few hours. Uh, you know, I, I wonder how fast other people are because I'm really slow. So like I photograph, measure, and weigh everything at the same time. And then I like pack it up and just get it ready to store it. Um, and for 20 items, for one, two, three, 17 items. Yeah, I would say I could do that in like a few hours, a couple hours. And um, so a possible $200 profit for like, you know, max like four hours work. And then, yeah, I mean, you have to ship it, but that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, I can do that. I can do that. And I'm sure I could do it a lot faster if I like didn't have the TV on or I wasn't watching like YouTube videos while I was taking pictures. So, um, but it's not fun that way. So, so anyway, so that's my profits for those two boxes. If you have any questions, please, please, please let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, like I, part of me is, you know, maybe I'm selling stuff too low and I'm just kind of taking offers a little quicker than I should. Um, but again, like I'm just kind of trying to just make the sale, get it out of here and get some new inventory in. So I don't know. I don't know when it, when you don't put that much effort into like getting the rescue box and you just deliver to your door, you just have to take the pictures. You just, that's it. Like, you know, is selling something for 10, nine or $10. Is it, is it worth it? I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. So, um, so yeah, so I just love these sort of rescue boxes and I guess I'm probably going to keep buying them. So let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.